Hallo, Bär. Ah. Epa. Habe. Käfer. Good morning, everybody. Well, today is a looking to be quite a warm day. We've got weather's in the 40s today and tomorrow both, and I'm quite concerned with my trail, with it breaking up and not being as good of skidding. Um, I also have an operation, just a minor, semi-minor surgery to go into on next week, and so I'm going to be um, not able to do any hard work, um, no work actually, for uh, several weeks. And so um, because of that, I'm really pushing hard to get this job done. Um, now, as far as the surgery goes, um, I um, a lot of people don't like to tell people that they're going into surgeries for reasons, I don't know why, um, but for, for different reasons. But uh, I myself, um, don't mind and actually want people to know that I'm going to surgery because I would appreciate your prayers. I very much believe in prayer and, uh, you know, this is not a major surgery, but um, still, I would appreciate your prayers. So, um, it's going to be a little bit hard on Brenda. She's going to have to do a lot of the, um, or she'll do all the chores while I'm laid up. But that's okay. She's been um, working on this quite a bit for, since she quit her job, and she's quite capable of doing all the chores, which is great. So anyways, back to this log job. I had a couple questions that I've been asked on this log job, and I'm going to try to answer a couple of those even today. I've got a big pile of logs here on this upper landing, and if you've been watching my videos, you'll understand I have an upper landing and a lower landing. This I just short haul to here, and then I use some sort of a different... I've been using different ways to haul these down to the landing where the log truck can get to. So um, today I have the dray, which I've been using the last few days. Um, but I've also been asked about um, what I do with the firewood that's left in the job. These are all hardwood trees, so there's a lot of good firewood. Now I've been working on this job for um, a few years now. This is a very big piece of property, and I've done sections of that over different years. And there's been a lot of hardwood here. There's been some winters I've hauled a lot of the firewood out. Um, this year, I'm not hauling so much out. I'm hauling the straight, nice pieces that can go in log trucks, but it's such a long, long skid in here. It's just very time consuming. And I had decided that when I started this job this winter, I wanted to get it done. I have, it's such a wet job. I've got so many bridges that I've made that won't last that long. So I really, really, really needed to get this done. I also knew I had this operation coming up, so I just wanted to get it done. The operation has actually been bumped ahead um, three or four weeks, which really stinks on my end because I was hoping I wouldn't have to hurry to get this job done, but now I do. So anyways, back to the firewood. Uh, it's, it's almost too long of a skid to skid the poor quality firewood out to be profitable. Um, I am skidding the, the longer stuff out, the straighter stuff that will go on log trucks. I've explained that before. Also, it's, it's not bad to leave the firewood and the tops in the woods anyways. It's good for the soil to actually leave it here. And I'll just go out to the woods just a tiny little bit so you can see out in the distance all of the tops that are out there. I still have a couple logs out there to grab. But years ago, the foresters would always make us lop our tops, meaning cut them down to like three feet, no higher than three feet. Now they don't do that. And I'm, I think a portion of the reason is because it's actually good for, for, um, for the wildlife to keep it up like that. Um, maybe, maybe it might even rot faster because it's in the air and it gets more air to it. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe some of you guys could tell me exactly what, if there's any foresters out there, maybe tell me why lopping isn't so important to the foresters as it used to be. I personally am very glad it's not. It was a lot of extra work to lop tops. So um, I'm also thinking that maybe by in the hardwoods, especially by having the, the branches kind of in the ear like that, it'll give the deer more time to, to eat the buds. Um, just as I was coming in today, right out, up there, there was three or four deer I saw take off. And so they do come in here a lot uh, and eat a lot of the tops. So anyways, I'm going to get started on this pile of logs. And 
uh, hope to get done, I don't know, a good share of this hauled out today. I don't think I'll get all this hauled out today. There's, there's a lot of hitches here. Um, but uh, I should be able to finish it up tomorrow if I can't get it done today. I do have a couple more trees left that I want to cut this standing um, if I get to it. But uh, like I said, I really need to get this job done and get it done in the next couple of days. Okay, I made down my second hitch. I'm gonna unhitch the chain and binder, and sometimes some of these loads I'm actually able to just pull out from underneath it, which I really like. So I release the chains and then we'll try to drive out from underneath that. See if it works. I cuffed that. Oh, look at that. Slick as can be. There's two pretty good sized trees. And we'll go back and get some more. Sometimes I cut up every hitch as I bring them out. Sometimes I fill the landing and then set the up and do it all at once. And we'll get a few more loads and then we'll probably do that. Okay, I got another load loaded up. And uh, we've had a few rain, a uh, little bit of time of raining and some snow squalls and you can see the horses are all sweated up and steaming, partially because of the, to the weather. Um, but anyways, I wanted to talk about a few couple, couple things here. I've had some questions asked about uh, what's the difference between a, a, a dray and a bobsled. And uh, uh, that's a good question. A uh, bobsled is loaded, you load on the bobsled when you're using the woods, just one end of the logs, just like you do this dray. A dray, you do the same thing, but it's on wheels. So at least that's the way I've always taken it to be. Um, the bob set is a sled and the dray is on wheels. So um, when I was younger, I used to help my father log quite a bit and he used the bob set a lot. And on the job that we were on, he did the driving of the team with the bobsled, so he did all the chaining, and I didn't really watch on that close to even understand exactly how he did it. And uh, so when last year, I guess I started using this dray, maybe a couple years ago now, and I was having some trouble with trying to figure out how to chain up the logs. And uh, so I helped ask my friend, Carl Russell in Vermont, and he actually showed me or told me how to to chain the logs on it. So it's still a little confusing. Two logs, two trees is pretty easy, but when you go to three, it gets a little more complicated. Um, also, some people have asked why I don't use a strap instead of a chain, and I actually said the same thing to Carl. I was thinking on using a strap because it's so handy to use. Well, he said, and I agree 100% with him. He said with a chain, see what happens when this when I pull ahead, all these logs slide back a few inches and actually tighten this up even more than it's already tightened because if there's any slack in it as they shift, they're, they're gonna come back and, and actually tighten up more. But a strap won't hold and dig into the wood like a chain will. So that's why I believe that Carl is 100% right and that the chain is a lot better use, um, right, right thing for the job on this particular situation. When you're logging and skidding logs, especially on a, a car or, I mean, especially on a dray or a bobsled or a scoot, you have to be really understanding the wood that you're hauling and understand your team to, under, to know how much you can put on because if you put on too much on, for example, this arch and I get halfway down the trail and I come to a hill and they, it's just too much for the horses to, to haul up the hill, 
I've got to, um, if I have my saw with me, I can come back and cut off one of the end logs maybe and drop it off and go with the lighter load. But that's, then you gotta come back and that one log's in the, in the trail and it just doesn't work good. When with the scoot, if you put too much on, you're really in trouble because you can't even get them off. That's one disadvantage that I know of, of the, any, anything that you load up like a sled or, or an arch like this. Um, or Dre, I mean, I bet, I bet, have I been saying arts the whole time when I mean Dre? Very possible. Anyways, um, the beauty about the just skidding with the cart, and I'll talk about this more sometimes, is when you've got, well, there's actually a lot of advantages to just using the cart, but we'll talk about that some other time. But anyways, this particular hitch, that beach is quite long and quite large, and the butt is at the end which I would prefer the butt on the on the dray um, so this is going to actually pull rather hard because of this weight way back here also beach is so slippery that that's if you have logs if you're skidding logs that's the one you're going to lose because it just is so slippery so hopefully I get this chain nice and tight and I'll have them pull ahead just a little ways I will retighten it to make darn sure that I don't lose this big old beach and we'll take this down to the landing. It's not too bad. And I'm going to see if I can get one more link. Or two, maybe. Nope, just one. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. One other thing you have to be very careful of when you're skidding logs is, or is the road conditions. A lot of times, the snow is different. You know, it depends on what's going on on your trail as to how much you can pull. Um, with it warm like it is now, the snow is very sticky. The snow, the trail is starting to melt a little bit. It, when you stop for any period of time, it sticks right to the ground. So it sometimes starts hard. So, um, but also there's other things as the snow melts, we get more dirt on the trail. Every time it hits the dirt, it drags harder. So all those things you gotta be can, you know, think about when you're skidding logs.
gaining on our pile. I haven't cut anything. I've cut a few of the little mop. I haven't moved, piled anything yet. I decided I'm just gonna try and haul them all out here today, and then uh, if I don't get them all done, I can I can uh, cut them up tomorrow. But it's quarter of three, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. But anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit how come I'm using Bill and Buck. They are definitely my fastest walkers, and uh, tomorrow I might. Um, bring in Lady and Ken to finish up this job and be a few more trees to cut and to get out and that's all the time I'm going to have before I go with my operation. So anyways I just um, I'm just kind of curious as much for my thinking as yours but I always try to time myself going in and it seems like every time I think to look at my watch when I'm on this landing by the time I get to the landing I forget. So I'm just gonna leave the camera right on and put on my car and just go and I'm not gonna stop and I'm gonna find out how long it does take. And then tomorrow, I wanna, if I can remember, I'd like to do the same thing with the other two horses to see what the difference in walking speed between these two pairs. Coming in, they're up landing. So I'll be able to check. Oh, I'll be able to check the time on the film as to how long it took me to come in here. So you can see we still got several, quite a few more loads there. So I don't know if we'll get them all out, but we're going to give it a try. As you can see, my cameras sometimes take a little bit of a beating also.
Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to actually get it all, but it is quarter past four. And there's the last thing. There's just four little pieces. There's still some log length pieces in front of the excavator that I threw over here when I was using the scoot still. Those are just short logs. I'm not sure what I'll do. Whether I'll just probably skid them down with the cart and uh, I'll do that tomorrow. And I've got two hitches up in the woods and I may cut a few more trees and then this job will be done. So let's get loaded up and we'll get out of here. Okay, the day is done. Good sized pile of logs. I'm happy anyways with the belt that we were able to haul down from the upper landing today. I'm quite sure the horses must be quite tired and uh, we'll uh, get them unhitched and we'll head home and they'll actually be done working possibly for at least a couple weeks. And uh, I'm hoping to bring down lady and can tomorrow and finish up this job. There shouldn't be, take too long to finish this job up and then we'll be done. I do hope to try to get a few more videos out as even though I'm laid up from this operation, um, maybe tomorrow I can do a video on, on lady and can and then uh, we got some other ideas to make some videos. So hopefully we'll have some going on even though I won't be working horses. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time around. Mm -hmm.